Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sam Wong's channel. Today, we're going to be building the high grade build fighters Gundam X Mao. So, uh, it's a kind of funny thing because I built his premium Bandai version, which is Ju Mao, back in like two years ago. I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. It was like two years ago, one or two years ago. I, I can barely remember it. But anyway, that's not the point. So, this time, uh, for some reason, the early Build Fighter series is now very hard to find. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's just very hard to find. But anyway, I got this before it was a unboxing. It was an unboxing video that I got one of these. So I decided so I will build it today. Well, anyway, the box art looks pretty cool though. And then we have, uh, so we're gonna look at the side here first. So we have actions, we have uh, the Hyper Satellite Cannon, and then we have the all kind of weapons as well do, do, do. okay so the other side we have the introduction of the x mao uh, which is japanese i really don't know how to read it so if you know how to read it then just pause here and read it so anyway i'm just gonna open up the runners first now let's take a look of the uh, what's in the box so first we have the introduction as i said and then you know i really miss this part right here one point technique they don't even do this on the uh build fighters build diver series anymore they don't really do it so now we have the weapons introduction we have all kind of customization it says uh it's based on the gundam x of course and then we will just quickly flip it to look at the instruction menu Yep, we're just quickly looking at it. That's pretty much it. So let's put that away. So first we're gonna start with a D runner. D runner, this is the Gundam X runner. So it contains all kinds of inner frame about the about the uh, gunplay itself. And then we have some hands option here. This is the gun. This is the gun. Uh, this is satellite cannons handle, I think. This is the backpack. This is the legs on, this is the legs joint. This is the legs joint too this is the torso piece uh, we have a waist piece right here and then we have some arms uh, arms joint right here and then next we have a x runner this is for the x mao so i believe i showed this before at the ju mao uh ju mao review because when i was unboxing it uh, this is the front waist this is the this is the this is the head this is the satellite cannon uh fins this is the uh, this is a side skirt, this is a back skirt, this is a torso, and then we have legs here, and then we have, I don't, I can't remember what's this, this is the waist part, and this is the, this is the connector on the back, I think, I, from what I remember, and this is the arms part. The eye runner, this is for the X Mao as well, this is uh, the brand new joints, and then we have the uh, backpack hands options and then we have the uh, the gunling gun options here as well this is the e runner e runner is the gundam x runner as well so we can clearly see that uh is there's mostly in the joint and i can't really tell which part is which because honestly i built the x jumao and the actual gundam x like a long time ago i can barely remember which part is which well, we also have the beam saber part and then the torso torso clear piece here this is from the gundam x x well this is the a runner we have the satellite cannon the uh and then we have some uh i don't know which part is this this is possibly the uh i don't remember this part. oh this is the knees car the, the kneecaps and uh, this is the legs and this is the legs as well the antenna the torso piece and then we have a shield parts i think yep and then next up we have a Oh, this is the new antenna. We have the head of the X Mao, and then lastly for the B runner, we have a we have the legs torso and then the waist connector part as well. And then lastly we have potty caps and also a very large sheet of um, stickers as well. So with this much amount of sticker i'm starting to get a little worried about the colors and how it turned out but anyway 
Uh, let's just build this first and I will see you guys at the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Gundam X model. So this is the finishing of it. As I said previously on the last video, I said that I don't have any space to put my gamba right now because my shelf is currently full. So I will try to find a way to solve it. But anyway, so today, um, this is the finishing of it. So it looks pretty much like the Gundam X, of course, because it's based on it. And it contained the same problem that I saw when I first built the Gundam X. So you know, the problem that, we, that you will find on the high grade Gundam X, this one will contain as well, such as the legs are pretty unstable and will, and the, and the joints is kind of soft actually as well. But anyway, uh, there's one thing that I want to complain that is, uh, you know, there's a lot of type of like, a, a lot of type this kind of sticker all around the gamma and sometimes they do flip up and they did not stick well so it contains the same problem with this these kind of sticker but okay we just have to deal with it so that's pretty much it but overall though uh it looks it looks pretty good although it's like a six it's like this combo came out probably around six years ago, so um, I would just say that it still functioned pretty well as I think. Uh, although it's not going to be very, very impressive or something like that, but for a old for an old compa, this still works pretty well. So I would just say that. So first, let's put some gamblers together first. Ta-da! So that's why I pull out my original Gundam X. This is the X model and the Duke model that I built like two years ago. So as you can see right here, you can really see that my building skills is actually changing from having nothing and then missing a sticker to uh, actually know how to do panel lining to um, nothing, still here, nothing. Well, because because you know, by the time that I start building the Duke model, I, ha I don't even know how to do panel lining. So by that time, so I just, basically just snap it up and leave out all the details. Well, I'll think about it later when I take it out of the shelf or just, you know, do the repanel lining or something like that. I'll think about it later, but anyway, that's not the point. So as you can see right here, we have three designs different. So I just, I just make it for fun to, you know, put it out again and then just let you see it again. And you know, we can, we can clearly see that uh, these three right here have a very obvious color changes. So as you can see right here, the left side, the Gundam X is, uh, is using a very you know uh, I don't I don't know how to say that it's a very it's a it's a very dark blue it's a little bit darker and the overall color you can see that is a little darker from the top to bottom but most of the bar contains the same thing um, and then now we have the X model the X model I think I like this color better because this color is uh, more sharp more fresh so i kind of like this color as well and we can see that actually the the, the difference between the x and the x model is the they basically have the opposite leg armor as you can see here this is the side skirt armor i mean side leg armor and then it's just putting the armor at the side of the legs back to the front so that's basically the difference and then we can see the feet is different the shoulders is different the head is obviously different i don't really like the gundam x head design i prefer this one as well this one looks a bit more comfortable so i'll just say it like this and we can see that you know gundam x also got a satellite cannon and then it also got this kind of uh satellite satellite container and um the x model here still contains the same thing as well but this but x model is way more easier to open than the x gundam and then we have the Jew model the Jew model i think uh, Jumao is a P Bandai. If you watched my review before, you must know that. And actually, I would say that I think Jumao is a pretty worthy P Bandai to buy because, you know, looking at this now, although it's using the same mode like the EXO Jumao, but they actually have a lot of difference. Like the shoulders is completely different. Um, the legs, the feet, and like the backpack and the head. So mostly the design is new and it's not just a very rip-off p bandai that switches color or just give you a couple extra parts so looking back right now actually build fighters premium bandai is actually pretty worthy to invest on so i would just say that you know we kind of like to figure out this fact that actually build fighters p bandai is always worth to buy because they changed 
they changed more things than the Universal Century P and I. Like First, we can look at the head. So the head can move up, move down, move around as well. Uh, you can see that these kind of satellite uh satellite color you know sort of like a purple ish color is all by stickers uh the unfortunate thing is i wish this part is a separate part instead of sticker but you know you know my rules uh as long as the sticker stick on it i'm completely fine with it uh by the way though i think this head looks a bit better than the original Gundam X. So next we don't, we're just gonna look at the torso right now. The torso, the color separation, I gotta say that it uh, it's done beautifully. For such a small scale Gunpla, like basically every part, every color on the Gundam X torso, they did it with part separation. They just only gave you this black sticker at the torso, then that's it. That's the only sticker that you need. So I gotta think that the torso actually done a very good job about the color separation. And they also give you a um, foil foil sticker underneath the uh, clear piece so you can really see it if reflecting although the the shining piece right here is not really doing a very good job but at least you can see some detail so I gotta say that the torso done beautifully so the torso right here um, it can move around like this so you can move around basically you can move around 360 without any interruption as well uh, it is a big ball joint, so when you move it, uh, you can do some front and back action here. But you know, just be remindful, ball joint is really easy to pop out. So when you when you play with it, make sure you're gonna be a little more careful about that. Now let's look at the arms. So the arms can move 360, of course, lift up, no problem. Moving moving a bit to the front because there's a joint here, moving a bit to the front, bending. Bending is a bit bad because this is a old mode, so it uses the old joint, so you only can bend a little more than just 90 degrees. And then we have the we have the hands here can move. We have the arms can spin around as well. So you know it's a pretty it's a pretty below average articulation for modern prices. But uh, the interesting thing is they do give you some extra hand option, but surprisingly they only give you the left hand they don't give you any kind of right hand so the left hand here we have a new hand this is for you to hold the uh, satellite cannon and we have an open hand for you to pose around for uh, just poses so surprisingly they only give you hands option on the left arm and they don't give you anything on the right side it's just pretty funny so now let's look at the waist part so the waist part right here uh, unfortunately this is a ball joint so you can't really kicking to the side for the legs but anyway that's another topic so you know the front skirt is movable the side skirt is movable but the side skirt do have a problem because this as you can see right here this blue piece uh well this this uh navy navy blue piece right here is actually pretty easy to pop out so you really have you really want to you really want to glue that because you know sometimes it might get a little annoying so i would just say that if you if you don't want to get pissed off too much i suggest you just glue it because mine is keep popping out and i'm and i'm really like this close just to glue it and then now we're, we're just gonna quickly look at the articulation so legs kicking to the front uh, kicking to the back, not really. Kicking to the side, not really, because it's a ball joint. Uh, bending is not really outstanding as well, because as I mentioned, it's a old joint. So the articulation is not going to be very impressive. The maximum you can bend is just um, close to 90, but not really. But uh, the, the feet down here is a little bit movable as well. So, you know, you do really have some limited articulation on the legs. But I, may, I mean, with the... With the satellite cannon still on its back, it's standing pretty well. So I'll just say that the stability is pr is pretty good. It's just the articulation is pretty bad. So we're just gonna quickly look at some accessory before we move on to the uh, satellite cannon. So first, uh, because this kit is based on Gundam X, so we, of course we do have the shield and the rival for the Gundam X as well. I don't think this is very like interesting or anything like that because you rarely uses it anyway. So you know. Just to let you know that this kit includes the original Gundam X shield and the rival as well. All the black part that you see on the shield and the rival is all by sticker. But so far, I don't see problems where it doesn't stick. So we'll let time to see is 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 it gonna pop out soon or not? But next, we do have something. We do have something uh, that is pretty useless, as I said, because you know, uh, because it's based on the Gundam X. So of course, it did give you the machine cannon and. 
it also gives you an additional this is like a build diver custom no not build divers this is a build fighter custom uh missiles but i don't really think that it really matters because you're not going to put it on the gun let me show you where you can put it so there's a couple of spots that you can put it on so at the side of the shoulder here we can see that there's a navy part here so if we flip this up if we move this out here you can see that there's a joint here that we can put on the machine gun so i mean the machine cannon not the machine gun so the machine cannon right here we can put it on here just to snap it on the joint and then we can we can you know show it as uh, shooting to the front but i really think that it doesn't match with this design so i would just suggest you don't put it and for the missiles here we can just flip up the part at the side of the legs and then we can just basically put this in and then we can have it pose here and really though for some reason i know this is part of uh, how you play with this gamma but it looks really weird with this two attachment on it it just doesn't look it just doesn't look natural at so, all. Of course, that we have we contain the same kind of beam sabers for both uh, X mount and the X Gundam. So as you can see here, the the larger one will be on the back here. So it's original. It's just the same one as the original Gundam X. And then we have the beam saber at the side here that you can put it on as well. So it's just at the side here. So you know uh, you can choose between it. So you can choose. Uh, which beam saber you would like to display and then just take it out so it's pretty simple now i'm going to go to the important part on how on showing you how can you get out the satellite cannon so now let's just quickly show you how do you pull out the satellite cannon so all you have to do right now is just uh, move it to the front first you just really really need to move it to the front so it's moving you need to move the arms as well so just give me a second so move it around here and then and then you want to pull out the and then you want to pull out the hand and then attached on it so now the right hand is attached on it then we're gonna to need to take out this hand right here this hand is specially customized for the x model to hold the satellite cannon from the left hand from the left side i'm sorry so right now we're just gonna quickly put it on so right now it's attached both on this so it looks pretty fine as i said it's holding pretty steady as well and doesn't really have the difficulty to hold it so i'll just say that this satellite cannon this time it actually works on holding on both hands so i'm really happy about it and this is basically how you pull out the satellite cannon and also the tip of the satellite cannon can move as well oh wait before i end the video i completely forgot that i forgot to show you how to open the satellite satellite uh plates so it's pretty easy you just flip it to the side and then uh just open it out and then just open it out like this and you basically have it and you as you can see it's pretty shiny it looks pretty good and i pretty like it anyway guys this is the end of the review thank you guys for watching uh this Gundam x uh i would just say that this custom eye is really good and compared to the so the satellite cannon how you hold it how you display it compared to the old Gundam x that i built like a couple years ago this one improves so much but as i said because it's using the same mode like the uh original gundam x kit so that's why the articulation really affecting really affected so you know i wish they they opened a new joint so to you know add more articulation but you know it's not going to be possible anyway so just let's just hold it here but overall i really like this gamma if you have a chance to buy it you can buy it and have fun with it because you know it looks pretty good and in my opinion it looks better than the original gundam x so i would just say that go for this one and you definitely have a lot of fun thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next review uh, make sure to uh, leave a like on my videos and subscribe subscribe to my channel click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a video and i'll see you guys in the next review Goodbye.